This is the Beagle Drones Nova, an FPV drone. This is a Cinedy Gear News video. Hi guys, this is Cinedy, my name is Nino. Today I have a video call with Beagle Drones and to be more precise with the CEO of Beagle Drones, that's Dwight Neptune. How are you, Dwight? I'm great, thank you. So um, tell me a little bit uh, of the background of the story. I mean, you're actually quite a young founder. I saw this amazing CNBC video uh, about your project. Oh, yeah. Maybe you can give us a little bit of a background before we talk about your new drone. Yeah, sure. So basically, um, we founded Beagle on the premise of just creating uh, technology that lets people explore the world. Uh, and FPV is just one of those entryways that we found. And it's it's really awesome because it empowers creators to just fly however they want. Um, so, if, you know, you have the skill to just pull off some amazing shots. The drone will let you do that and will not limit you at all. Uh, but the main issue we found was that creators who wanted to get an FPV drone to take their shots to the next level found it very difficult. Uh, so we set out to simplify it, um, make it a plug and play system. So if you're on a shoot and something breaks, you can just quickly plug something out and put in a new part versus having to find someone to fix it or soldering it yourself, which means you may have to head back home. Uh, so we wanted to make it a seamless experience as well as attach customer service, which I take personally, because I hate getting on the phone with companies and they're just giving you their runaround. Um, so we wanted to make it really, really easy for people who are creators, adventurers to get into FPV drones uh, and just use it however they like and know that if anything goes wrong, there's someone they can call. Uh, in the future, we hope to grow into bigger things. You know, we have a lot of ideas for uh, electric motorsport stuff that we want to get into. Uh, but so far, that's where we're at. And we're only about three years old now. Um, we really started in 2017. So it's me and my co-founders, two co-founders. Uh, and I think with all team members, we're about eight people right now. Um, currently in our office, this is like one little section of it. It's like one big hallway, <laughs> but uh, yeah. that's how it always starts, right? In the hallway or in the garage? <laughs> Pretty much. Well, technically, this is part of a garage. <laughs> so, I mean, FPV drones, um, I think it's when, when, we, when I saw your project, I was really excited because actually just before I thought, well, everybody knows you know, the, the, the consumer drones or DJI drones, you know, yeah. like a, it's become really mainstream. So everybody, it's quite easy to fly. It has all these assistance modes and stuff like that. Whereas FPV mm -hmm. drones are still kind of a specialty in a way. I mean, they, it seems like they are on the brink of becoming mainstream. Um, but right now, as you already mentioned, I mean, it's really tough to actually build one. You have to get your parts from different manufacturers. You have to go through tutorials and all kinds of stuff. It's mostly, it's like it's only, it's, it's like a separate tightly knit community that has really not much to do with the normal consumer drone uh, thing. I mean, and maybe you can explain to our audience a little bit what is the big difference between an FPV drone on what an FPV drone can do versus a normal, let's, let's say a really small DJI drone. Let's say I, I buy a DJI Mini 2, the new one. What is the big difference between those two? Well, the major difference is your standard drone gives you your typical shots. So you get lots of great aerial footage, um, lots of forward and backward movement. Um, and because if you've ever flown a DJI drone, it's, it's very slow to take off and very slow to land. It's not really that dynamic. It's very static movements. It's great for aerial photography, uh, pretty decent for aerial videography. But with FPV, you have the full freedom to, one, go at extremely high speeds. Um, so you can do things like car chases and uh, motorcycle races and stuff like that with ease. Um, and we've even seen bigger, like professional FPV quads um, with red Komodos and A7S3s. And I mean, you have to be a really good pilot to pull that off. But um, yeah, so the, the main difference is I think I have... I have like a model here of the Nova shell, but if you think of like a standard drone, it's, it's pretty much like that. Um, with an FPV drone, let's see, this is a subject. You can literally do this and then like, it just, you just have to complete freedom almost as if you have like a floating camera. So there. you can turn in all directions. You can, you can also fly in your head you and everything. Maneuver. You can maneuver however. Um, actually one of the most popular shot that people do, um, is like, let's say this is a subject and they'll go like that. They'll fly over, get an aerial shot and then flip and then land on the other side. Uh, and you can just do all these crazy things. 
um, that look like CGI, honestly. It does not look like, it's like if you were to see the video, you'd have no idea what shot that. You would think it was like computer generated. Yeah, how did you get into uh, drones in general or FPV drones? So we actually wanted to build one, um, just for fun, honestly. We wanted to build one because it looked really cool. Um, and it was just really difficult. Uh, just figuring out how things are plugged in. Uh, and it's a hobby, so I can understand you know, people enjoying that. Uh, but as a creator who sees this as a tool, um, we were just like, hey, we could make this easier. Um, so literally every part is replaceable, like on the fly uh, from the drone kit. I actually personally crashed the drone kit really bad one time where it was completely destroyed. Uh, and it was four screws that holds the entire computer stack down. And I just took out the four screws and threw it on a new frame and then kept flying again. Um, so we wanted to make it as easy as possible because we've personally experienced uh, how difficult it can be. Uh, I think the first one we built actually, we bought the parts from, I think somewhere from Amazon, somewhere for a couple like random websites that was recommended to us. Um, and then when we finally put it together, which took us another like week to figure out, uh, we plugged in the battery and everything like just turned into flames. Um, so apparently, we, I guess we wired some stuff up wrong, but that's just normal in the FPV community. Uh, but again, if you're a creator seeing this as a tool, that's, that's way too much. Yeah, absolutely. So <clears throat> your new Nova drone, which just started on Kickstarter, uh, I think yeah. one and a half weeks ago or something, um, it's, it, it's like a ready to order FPV drone, right? Yes. So what we wanted to do, the drone kit was our first entry into FPV um, for creators. And one of the biggest hurdles for a lot of people with FPV is the fact that it doesn't record video unless you put a GoPro on it. Uh, the drone kit is a five inch, it's considered a five inch quad in, in terms of like uh, drone classes. And it's fairly heavy uh, for a lot of, it's light, but it's heavy in terms of drone laws. <laughs> Cause a lot of places restrict you to under uh, half a pound or 0.55 pounds. Uh, and the biggest thing in FPV right now is the Cinewhip, which is basically an FPV drone that's safe to fly around people. So the shots that I just explained with my unscientific models was that um, the propellers are big and they're exposed. Uh, so imagine them being enclosed and you're still having that complete freedom, but you can do that now indoors at parties um, and it's still more than fast enough to chase cars and chase bikes. Um, and if it crashes, it's more robust. So with the Nova, we worked with a lot of the people in the industry who build some of the best FPV parts. Um, and we have a built-in 4K60 uh, camera, it shoots in H.264. Um, it's really good quality. We've been tuning it for weeks, so it's coming out really nice. Um, so it's it's ready out the box. It's under 255 pounds with a big battery. Uh, a lot of Cinewhips, if you want it to be under um, 250 grams, excuse me, not pounds. If you want it to be under 250 grams, uh, you would have to use a small battery and then you it doesn't record video. It's just an FPV camera, like it doesn't do anything. So we wanted to make the Nova useful right out the box so you can just get filming with it. Um, it comes with a big battery. Most Cinewhips are about three to four minutes of battery life. Um, I personally flown the Nova, I get on average six minutes. Um, if you're flying really slow, like I was flying at a skate park, I got like seven minutes. Um, if you're flying fast, you're probably gonna be hitting five and a half to six. So uh, the Nova is the first FPV Cinewhip that as soon as you take it out of the box, you can use it. The single camera is a dual purpose, so it gets you the feed to your goggles, hence the word FPV for first person view. Um, so what you see in your goggles as you're taking that shot is exactly what you're gonna be getting um, on your SD card in terms of angle. Yeah, um, because they usually, I mean, I for people who only know normal drones, I think, yeah, we have to mention yeah. that usually there's like a, it's like a second camera that's the navigation camera, right? And then there's the, mm -hmm. the, the insides of a GoPro very often that are actually recording the image. Yeah. So what happens is that with most FPV drones, like the drone kit, for example, um, you have the FPV camera, which is a camera that's dedicated to just sending a video feed to your goggles. And then you would slap a GoPro on the top. The only issue is that the GoPro is slightly higher than what you're seeing, so you have to compensate for that. Um, with the Nova, what you see is exactly what you're recording. Granted, the video in your goggles is only about 480p or so um, because it's transmission, so it's trying to reduce latency. Uh, but the actual record video can be either 4K60, um, which to be frank, it's actually 3.5K upscaled, um, and then 4K30, which is true 4K, um, and then you have 1080, 120, and 1080, 60, and 1080, 30. Really cool. Really good specs also. And what kind of packages do you offer as part of your Kickstarter campaign? 
Um, so for the Nova, it comes with two batteries, hence why we say 14 minutes, because you get about seven minutes per battery. Um, comes with a fast charger, comes with the remote control and the goggles, and I think it goes for $459. Um, and the early birds are gone, but I think we're probably going to restock on the 429 early birds um, soon, so just look out for that. That'll definitely be up soon. Um, and then that's basically what it comes with. And then we do have future upgrades to coming out. So we have our stealth brand, which is we just focus on higher quality, um, higher end parts, uh, which we'll be adding um, accessories for the Nova there soon. Currently, it's only drum kit accessories. Yeah, really cool. And you guys actually have quite close. I mean, you, you're planning to ship those out quite soon, actually, when people order them, right? Yeah, so one of the biggest things is that we don't announce a product or launch a product unless we know for sure it's going to work. We've been working on the Nova um, since, actually, we had the idea in January and been working on it ever since and really started working really hard on it around June, July um, to, to get it ready. And it's pretty much ready to go. The Kickstarter was just to cover the initial cost of the uh, manufacturing a new product. Um, so I have all the equipment, all the new, you know, processes that needs to be implemented to get a new product, you know, shipping. Um, and that's really it. We pretty much could just build them right now uh, as soon as the Kickstarter, you know, money gets transferred. So uh, it's not really an idea or a concept. It's actually a real product that I personally file all the time because it's actually really fun. Um, and then actually one of the things I did forget to mention is that... Um, the great thing I love about the Nova is the not only the design, because it has that like cyberpunk futuristic design, uh, but we made it out of really strong materials. Most of the Nova are either two really thin sheets of carbon fiber with like plastic in the middle. Uh, it's like PLA. So after a couple crashes, you will destroy it. Um, the Nova is made out of carbon X, which is a space grade carbon nylon hybrid. Um, so it's extremely strong. Uh, I've yet to gotten it to break uh, and, and I've crashed into trees and everything a lot. Um, so it's it's really, really tough. And another thing too is that you're flying around people most of the time. So your crash is not going to be like super hardcore unless you're pushing it. But if you're just flying around your yard for fun, um, it'll still be completely fine. That's cool. That's very good to hear. I think that's a relief, relief to a lot of people that they don't have to constantly repair it and that it's quite sturdy. So who do you think yeah. is are the most people like who are the people who buy this drone? Who are the who are your customers? Uh, I think ideally creators. Uh, we look at most people that we talk with. People who provide feedback on what they want out of our products. It's videographers, cinematographers, um, even photographers who just want to try getting some good video. Uh, oftentimes we have friends uh, who are um, who do a lot of real estate shoots. Uh, and with the Nova, they can do things like literally just fly inside a house and just get everything in one take. Uh, they could just fly into each room, get some really crazy shots. Like one of my um, friends said that, you know, we sent him one to test out and he like flew into uh, a window in like the bottom or I say downstairs of a house and then flew out of the window and went into upstairs and then just got some really crazy real estate shots that are simply just not possible with anything else. Uh, and... I think if, if you're a creator, FPV definitely takes your shots to the next level because it allows you a freedom that just simply doesn't exist currently um, in any other type of drone. Um, granted, it will take some skill to fly. You know, it's like riding a bike. It feels weird at first, but eventually you'll get it and it just becomes natural. Yeah, very cool. Where do you think uh, you guys will be in five or ten years? What's your plans after the Nova drone? Um, so we have a lot of actually really cool plans. So after the Nova, we're going to be making a massive update to the drum kit. Um, so completely new redesign. Um, we we're doing like a ton of upgrades. I can't talk too much because we are a startup. So like, I don't want to put all our cards on the table and kind of expose what we're working on. But drum kit's definitely getting a major overhaul. Um, and it's going to be a completely new product by like next summer-ish we're looking for towards the end of the year, next year. Um, and then, like I said, we are just really focused on uh, adventure motorsports. So we could do things like electric go karts or whatever. Like we're just, we literally just want to build great tech that lets people just explore the world and enjoy themselves. Really cool. I think that's a nice uh, last word here. Uh, thank you, Dwight. I wish you all the best. And uh, yeah, excited to also fly an FPV drone. I, I'm just a little bit scared. I think I'm, I'm more the Mavic guy, so I have to get used to. You know, oh, not not pushing <laughs> not pushing throttle into the wrong direction so it hits the ground. But uh, I will try. <laughs> yeah, it just takes some practice. But once you get it, it'll be really really fun. And I don't 
I think you'll end up using your Mavic only for like aerial shots. Yeah, I think so too. I was like, you know, you can even fly in the city. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you everybody for watching. Stay tuned uh, to CineD for a lot more interviews like this one about really interesting products. And uh, yeah, also for our reviews. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks. Yeah.